Hi everyone, it's Ms. Serrano. We're going to talk about how to do a quadratic regression in the TI 83 or 84 calculator. Okay, so I switched over to the TI-84 version that I have on my computer, but it's still the same steps as on your handheld. To put in some values into the calculator, what you do is you hit the STAT button. All right, and then to put in some points, you're going to press 1 or just hit enter. Oh, you caught me. Sorry. Okay, this is from a previous problem. All right, so to clear out a pre, uh, old data, go up to the top of it, like here, L2. I'm going to hit clear, enter, and it clears out that whole screen. Do not press delete because that deletes the whole list and it's a pain. So just do clear, enter and it clears it out without erasing that whole entire label. All right, so for our example, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in, and you do it too, for list one, we're gonna type in the numbers one through 12, hit enter after each number, especially that last number, to make sure that everything registers. And then I'm going to hit the right arrow key and I'm going to go to the top of the next list. For list two, just so I had some data, I went ahead and I found the average monthly high temperature for Philadelphia. Because why? Because cheesesteaks and go birds. That's why. I don't know. All right. So just give me a minute and I will type in the average monthly high temperatures for each month. There we go. All right, so after we have our data in, the next thing we're going to do is, is hit that stat button again. And right now you see that edit is highlighted. We want to make it so that calc is highlighted. So you press your right arrow, and then there's this whole other menu that shows up. Since we want a quadratic regression, we're going to have to go down here to number 5 and hit enter. Now, it's saying the x's, do you want that from L1? Yes. The y's, do you want that from L2? Yes. The rest of this, just keep clicking enter because we don't care. And there you go. And notice that it tells you the values of A, B, and C but it's putting that into the standard form. All right. Now, it's doing the best it can with the data that we gave it. That's why you got all those weird decimals. So we can round this. I'm going to round to the hundredths place and say y equals negative uh, 1.39x squared plus 19.48x plus 12 0.09. Now, let's say for argument's sake that you want to see the graph of this. We can do that too. We're going to go to the y equals key and we're going to put in that rounded answer that we just put together. All right. Make sure you use the negative out in front of there, not the subtraction, otherwise, error. Okay, and to look at the graph, we hit graph. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Miss Serrano, that's terrible. I can barely see anything. Yeah, I know. All right, so let's fix it so we can see more of this graph. So let's go over to the window. All right, for the x's, we put in the numbers from 1 to 12. So I'll do from 0, 0 to, I'll make it 13. I'll, come on. There you go. And scale factor 1 is fine. Uh, the y's, I'll make it go from 0 to, the highest was 85.5, so I'll say 90. And I'll make it jump up by tens. All right, now let's take a look. Now that looks so much nicer. 
I like it. But let's say for argument's sake, hey, I want to see the points that I put in compared to that parabola. We can do that too. The quick way we can see the points in relation to this graph, up above the y equals key, you see right here where it says stat plot. To get to any of the blue functions, you're going to have to hit the blue second key and then hit that button, and then you can get to the stat plot. And I'm going to press number one to say, yeah, I want it on. I'm going to have to hit the on button, just hit enter, so it switches the on. And I want it so I see the dots individually, and it's going to put it as like a circle, and the color is blue, so fine. So then when I see the graph, oh, looky, looky. So given the points that I gave it, the calculator really did try its best. And that is the graph that it came up with, with the equation that we gave it. And keep in mind, we rounded it. So if we put in all those longer decimals into that full equation, it would be a lot closer, but it's good enough. Okay. <laughs> and that's all I was going to talk about today. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye.